I should have known. This is the Cowboys Wheel of Mutt season, and I traveled all the way to San Francisco to watch my Detroit Lions play the San Francisco 49ers. And what did we do? We choked. We choked in the NFC Championship. We blew a 17-0 lead. And of course, the season that I'm the Dallas Cowboys, I choke in the playoffs. It was written in the stars. Now, my Lions may have choked a sad, horrifying game, along with the Baltimore Ravens, and now America is forced to watch the most mid Super Bowl in years. I am being a hater. I'm sure the Niners Chiefs game is going to be great, but come on. We all wanted the Ravens. We all wanted the Lions. We don't want to see a Niners Chiefs rematch. I think the allegations that the NFL is scripted are now officially fake because why would the NFL want this Super Bowl? I feel like unanimously nobody wants this. I understand the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, if the script is real, you know, you got Taylor Swift in there. I get that. But San Fran? Where does San Fran fit in the script? Now, we can avenge the Detroit Lions and we can break the Cowboys curse if we go to the playoffs and win a Super Bowl this Wheel of Mutt season. But we have a pretty large hill to climb for a few reasons. Reason number one being we're two and two. Two and two is a really scary record. One more loss, we're just done. We have to start a new season. Three straight wins and we make the playoffs. Now here's the good thing. We have a really solid team for being two and two. We've got a great backfield. We've got great wide receivers and great tight ends. Well, Gronk is great. Ferguson's mid, but you get it. Offensive line is kind of pitiful, but at least we got Russ Grimm in there. And then defense is honestly very solid. Three great linebackers. Nick Bosa and Jalen Carter on the D-line. We've got prime time at corner. We've got limited Jalen Ramsey, Jesse Bates, Derwin James. Obviously, there's some holes on this team, but it's not out of reach. And not to mention, last game, we played a great team, but I didn't play very well, and it was still a really close game. So I think if I play well, we'll be able to make this work. All right, boys, let's hop in. This is our first spin. It's win or go home for the next three straight games. We got to come in real clutch. Hey, Campus Hero 94s. So not too many players to pick from, but I know some of these guys would be huge on this lineup. So there's 94 Ricky Williams. He's not replacing Dre Archer. That's a no. 94 Derek Thomas. My linebackers are excellent. That's a no. There's 94 Marcus Peters. Ooh, he's a very good option. There's 94 John Runyon. Also an excellent option. And we can only take the 94, so Ridley and Petrie are off the table. You know, normally Normally, I'm going to lean towards Marcus Peters here, and we still need a corner, but I have neglected this offensive line for too long. I really have. It's always hard to take offensive linemen when there's so many options, but I'm going to take John Runyon here. 430,000 coins for the 94 overall right tackle, and I'll move my current right tackle, Alaric Jackson, over to right guard. 94 John Runyon. He's got 93 strength. He's got 90 plus in every significant stat. He's 6'7", 330. He's gigantic. Not to mention Drew Brees, a right-handed quarterback. He rolls out to the right. So 94 John Runyon goes right here, and then Alaric Jackson. I think he might actually be a right guard. What is his actual? Oh, his actual position is left tackle. My bad. Regardless, he's a better right guard than my silver, so offensive line already looks better here. Our very first wheel spin of win or go home is a 94 right tackle. Needed it. I got it. Offensive line has no silvers left. Our next wheel spin, I won't have as much of a say in. It's the positions wheel 93 to 94. All right, boys, we can get any 93 to 94 overall player in the game, but they must be. Oh, left guard or free safe? Oh. What do we do here? This is weird. This is weird because we have Jesse Bates, but it's not that bad. Let's go see what our options are. Let's start with the 94 overall free safeties. There's a Darnell Savage. There's a Malik Hooker. And that's actually it. Those are the only 94 overall safeties. How big is Darnell Savage? Darnell Savage is 5'11 with insanely good stats. Malik Hooker is 6'1 and he's even faster. Okay, Malik Hooker obviously clears Darnell Savage and also he's a Dallas Cowboy. Take a look at the 93s just in case, but I think we're going to go Malik cooker here. There's Jack Tatum. Antoine, Win Antoine Winfield's actually insane. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This Antoine Winfield is such a beast, but I think I'm still gonna go Malik Cooker. We're taking 94 Malik Cooker here. Now the question is, does he play actual free safety or do we just put him at corner? Got 93 man coverage, 95 zone, 95 speed. He actually would be an insanely good corner. I think we put him at corner right now. Oh, free pick artist? Damn, this card is nasty. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give Malik Hooker deep in zone KO, and then I'm gonna give him universal coverage. And I'm going to put Derwin James at corner. Okay, so Derwin James swapped out for Malik Hooker. Then DeMonte KZ comes out for Derwin James. Honestly, you know what's funny? DeMonte KZ is faster than Derwin. But Derwin has better man and zone coverage. I still think we rock Derwin here. We can put DeMonte KZ as my uh, backup safety. That's not a bad idea. I ended up giving Malik
Malik Hooker, deep in zone KO, and pick artist. I honestly think my team needs a deep out zone KO, but I don't have a great player to put it on right now, so we're just gonna rock it how we are, but those zone KOs are super important. Gotta make sure I use those in the future. All right, boys, two massive upgrades. 94 John Runyon, 94 Malik Hooker. Can we go with one more 94? Maybe even better. If beggars can be... Ugh. Shit. I don't want to call this bad quite yet. This could be really good. All right, so one gold player, and then we get the best version possible of that gold player if they can score a touchdown. I actually have a really good option here. Hey, to be honest, I really don't need any offensive players. Technically, I could use a wide receiver, but here's what I've come up with. So Devin Hester, he has a gold card. He has a 78 overall deep threat wide receiver card. This is a super early old legend. Dog shit stats on it. And if I can score a touchdown with him, I can pack a punch. Devin Hester. Well, Devin Hester actually has two really good cards in this game. He's got a 93 overall corner, which is exactly what we need. It's got 94 speed, 91 man, 93. This is a crazy good card. He'd also obviously be a really good return man, but he also has a really good AKA wide receiver. Devin Hester anytime. I feel like I definitely just need the corner. Who knows? At the end of this episode, if I decide I want a wide receiver, maybe I'll pick up 94 Hester. Regardless, I won't get anything unless I can score a touchdown with him, so I'm not going to put him in the starting lineup because he's too much of a liability, but let's put him in for Gadarius Tony here, and if I can score a touchdown with him, I'll get to pack a punch him after the video. That would add 93 Devin Hester right where Derwin James is, and then Derwin James would officially be our backup strong safety. I'd feel a whole lot better about this defense if we can do that. And of course, we've got to take a spin on the challenge wheel. Now losing, but completing the challenge wheel will not help us. And I'll talk about that in a second. Four passing touchdowns, definitely doable. My only fear is really wanting to run the ball, but not being able to because we need the four passing touchdowns. But we're absolutely going to go for it. Now, keep in mind, normally if I complete the challenge wheel and I lose, I can salvage a player. But if I lose, the season's over. So we exclusively need to win. And if we complete our challenge, that's an extra pack to add some players to this team. We've still got a silver backup middle linebacker. We've got a safety at corner. We have no D tackle two or left end. And we're still missing an offense. Line, so a pack would be massive. Our top three is disgusting. It's got Malik Hooker on it. He's got Jay Love, Ray Lewis, Romeo Dobbs, and we're playing in Texans Stadium. Just a couple of playoffs losers going at it. A start on Ray Lewis, Jay Love in the Texans uni, James Cook in the backfield. He's gonna check it down to him. We know he's juking. Oh, he checks down again to the halfback. This time only gets two yards. Well covered by Jesse Bates. I'm gonna go on Christian Harris. It's not a run play. He can't check it down again. He can, he really can. Three straight passes to James Cook. Trying to get some PPR yards, but it's fourth and three. One more stop. I'm guessing pass this time around. I see him, I see him, I see him, but I'm under it. Shit. Got to that so late. Not a lot of pressure though. Lawrence Taylor and Nick Bosa, I expect you guys to get home. Quick little RPO, maybe just a screen. I don't even know if that was RPO. Day low is five for five. I'm on this. Beautiful coverage. All over J Love! He doesn't get rid of it. And Jalen Carter gets home. Third and 23. I gotta send a blitz here. I'm going mid blitz. I'm going mid blitz and I'm gonna go on prime time, cover the halfback. Yup! What? 85 Aaron Donald somehow has the ball! That's so massive. All right, I can kick PATs, but I'm gonna be greedy. I'm going for two right now. How did he catch this? Lawrence Taylor got home. He has no inside stuff. No inside stuff. We've got a clean shot here. He's gonna be on Ray. Ooh, beautiful. I didn't even need the second level block. What do you got, J-Love? I've got Avalanche. I've got this bagged. Oh my God, that was so close to the safety. Good defense, boys. I keep seeing Harris. I'm thinking it's Christian Harris, but Christian Harris is not number 93 and he's not 400 pounds. So. Halfback, go halfback. Hey! Let's just go baseman coverage. Safety alert, safety alert. I'm on Lawrence Taylor. This is a weird guy to use or no, I'm on Ray Lewis. I can't do that. And it's the problem here though. Lawrence Taylor's not built for this coverage, but it doesn't matter because Shelby Harris just got a safety. 40 bomb alert. I repeat, 40. Alert. Okay, he's in 3-3. Bro, if this is a Zay Flowers touchdown, Zay Flowers is gonna have so fucking many of these on the season. Oh my god, it was! It was! I couldn't get it off! Oh, that's that's actually my fault because I shouldn't be I should be audibling. Alright, I'm gonna get it again. He's gonna leave it again. Okay, here's what I did wrong. This is PA Crosser. I need to block Gronk. I need to block Tree Archer to take the play action off, and then I just fucking huck this bitch. Tutty. 
Stop press covering the fastest receiver in the game. Guys, what do you think Zay Flowers' wheel of mud average yards per reception is? Because I have a feeling it's 800. No, that doesn't make sense. I have a feeling it's 50 yards per catch. I may ruin that average right now. Go Zay. Oh, shit. Oh, that's open. <laughs> Jamar Chase. Hey. Hey! Damn, and we can't get a push. All right, fourth and four. Going to come out and drill this field goal. I understand that a 13-point lead isn't that much of a difference. But I don't know. We've just had so many possessions. We might as well take the points. One more field goal puts us at 16-0. to zero. What do we need? We need a one-point safety still, right? Also, just need a PAT. Dude, this guy loves James Cook. I'm going to hop on Christian Harris here. Got to look at 85. Oh, good post. Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. Wow. Trey Y flex, I'm on Ramsey. Let's bait something. Honestly, a very impressive free form. He snapped that way faster than I thought he would. I should have picked that off. Yo, Ray, this looks like a run to me. Oh, it's not? Underneath to the tight end. Nice find. He's approaching the red zone. He's not there yet, though. I'm on this check down. Dude, he fucking loves James Cook. Here we go. Cover two. He hasn't seen this yet. Nice whip route. Nice whip route. Oh, what a tackle. Christian Harris, wait a minute. You think he runs this ball? No, he's going to go underneath. Let's go Bosa and Taylor on light blues, and I'll stuff the middle. Taylor Ramsey! No RPOs today! Ramsey's going to house this. And if he sticks around this game, we're really on 40 bomb watch. He's not sticking around. Dude, what is this Wheel of Mud season has been wild. It's either a crazy good game or we just whack somebody. Gosh, it's all, it really is always a bummer when that happens, boys, because you know that I love recording the video. I love when it's a good game, but I will say this is a huge moment for us. To go to three and two right now is so big. I, like, I'm worried we're not going to make the playoffs, so to get that win right there, massive. Oh, no, I didn't score a touchdown with Devin Hester. In my defense, he didn't give me an opportunity to score with Devin Hester, but also I I could have subbed Devin Hester in to get that first touchdown, and I didn't. I was too nervous. He's going to be like, oh, shoot. Dude, also on that pick six, I could have gone out of bounds at the one, but I guess he did rage quit really fast, huh? I could have gone out of bounds at the one with Aaron Donald. Oh, I don't really know if I deserve this Devin Hester. This is a tough decision to make. Okay, here's what we're going to do for Devin Hester. Now, Devin Hester, like I said, he has two cards. He's got the 94 overall, and he's got the 93 overall. Now, my preference is the Devin Hester corner, but there's also this Devin Hester anytime wide receiver. So I am going to take the upgraded Devin Hester because it's also not fair that I lose out on an entire wheel spin, but I shouldn't have the choice. So I'm going to let Echo choose for me right now. So heads, we're taking the 94. Tails, we're taking the 93. Echo, flip a coin. Let's go, Google! Dude, that's that's exactly why I kicked Alexa's thought ass out, bro. I had some woman come in here and decide my wheel of mutt player. Not gonna lie, though, a little piece of me was kind of excited to have the 94 wide receiver. Honestly, it was very good for us either way. There's no question about that. But sometimes things work in your favor, and sometimes your favorite team blows a 17-point lead in eight minutes uh, against Brock Mid-Purdy. Okay, 93 Devin Hester, welcome to the team. Now, we definitely did not complete our challenge wheel, and we really weren't on pace either since I had two defensive touchdowns but we do get a spin on the rage quit wheel so we get 93 devin hester we'll take him and then we'll take whatever the rage quit wheel will hand us today plus one to one position Ooh. oh yeah this is gonna be really good so plus one to one position very simple i can choose any position on my team and increase the overall by one so for example my free safety is 93 jesse bates if i wanted to i could grab any 94 free safety i'm not gonna do that though do you know who i actually want out of this lineup i kind Kind of want Deion Sanders out of this lineup. I like Deion Sanders, but since we just added Devin Hester, he's kind of like a poor man's Devin Hester. Because Devin Hester can return kicks for us. Devin Hester is faster, has better stats. Obviously, Prime is really good in real life. And, like, I could use it on Aaron Donald, 85, but going from an 85 to an 86 doesn't really matter. But I feel like getting any 93 corner in the game, I could get a monster. So I think that's going to be the move here. I could get any 94 halfback, but I, I do like Dre Archer. Low key, I could get Drew Brees out of here. And I could go up to a 95. Oh, I think I'm going to do that, bro. Wait a minute. Drew Brees is a 94, which means if I wanted, I could get any 95 quarterback. You know who's got a 95 quarterback? You know who's got a 95 quarterback? You know who's one of my favorite cards in this game? And would free up a little bit of AP, I think. Dude, my absolute favorite quarterback and one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Derek Carr. 
Look at the look on your face, bro. Look at how you look, bro. Look at you. Look at you. That was a good one, Matt. That really was. 95 overall playoffs limited. CJ Stroud. This QB's on the next level. He does everything that Breeze does, but better and for less AP. Literally everything better. Way faster. More throw power. More accuracies. He ties him in mid and play action. He's got a better hairline and he probably owns your poverty franchise. In that first slot, he gets gift wrapped for free. You don't have to spend anything extra on it. He does have some unstoppables like Unstoppable Hot Rod Master, Unstoppable Gunslinger. I'm not gonna mess around with that. I'm just gonna go run and gun. Now, I have heard that Pass Lead Elite is very, very important. I'm not quite at the point where I want to use this yet. So I'm just gonna stick to Hot Route Master for one AP and then Gunslinger for two, I think. Or no, I have this wrong. Yes, Hot Route Master for one AP, Gunslinger for two. That is three AP on CJ Stroud. So Drew Brees for all those same abilities was seven AP. So we just saved two AP and upgraded quarterbacks and he's actually boosted to a 96. So that was an excellent decision. All right, boys, huge episode today. We add CJ Stroud, John Runyon, Devin Hester, Malik Hooker. Sick episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry, Rage, quick, quick, but we're three and two. Two more wins. We head to the playoffs. Love you, boys. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.